control. It is uh, Wednesday, February 2nd, 2011. I'm DJ Wheat, and I'm excited because uh, on this week's Kings of Tin with uh, myself and Wack Steven, we have Yo. got uh, probably, Wack, probably, you know, one of the most well-known StarCraft players, if not the most well-known StarCraft player from North America, um, and undoubtedly the most successful North American StarCraft player thus far. Um, we've got uh, E.G. Idra on tonight, Wack, and uh, I'm excited to introduce him in just a moment. It, Wack, we've been talking about our cast of people that we want to have on Kings of Tin, um, and, uh, you know, Idra is kind of one of those, like, if we can get Greg, then everyone will realize how awesome Kings of Tin is because uh -huh. it's all about having a little bit of fun, yeah? Pretty much. I mean, uh, I think anybody that's tuned into the show and uh, heard us before knows how awesome Kings of Tin is. Just that initial awesomeness has to be spread out. Exactly. Has to exactly. marinate. You and and you are you're saying you know does does Idra know what he's getting into? And we'll ask him, of course, as we do all of our guests. But um, I I said back to you like I don't think any of them realize what they're getting into until that game actually begins. It's like all, it's like a whirlwind of like, oh my God, these guys are going to suck so bad. I'm just going to have to carry them to like, oh wait, maybe it won't be that bad and we'll be able to win some games. And, and it's just all that constant doubt until the game actually begins. So guys, without further ado, let's introduce uh, our King of 10 this week. Uh, we have got Greg Fields, AKA EG Idra. Uh, Idra, welcome to Kings of 10. Hey, we and everyone else, happy to be here. Hell yeah. Well, we're excited to have you, dude. We are definitely excited to have you. And I guess maybe I should just kick off with that first question. Do you actually know, Greg, like what you're getting into? I know it's about you know, your guests playing fun games and team games and UMSs and stuff like that, but that's pretty much all. Well, if losing is fun, Greg, then uh, we ah, are okay. definitely going to have... <laughs> A lot. No, I, that part, no, 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 no. See, I always have to put a little bit of doubt into a, into our king. Like, I, I think I can positively say, whack, it, it, back me up on this one, that the kings of ten have a winning record for sure. Is oh, that without accurate? a doubt. Yeah. Okay. So, we're at, we're at like solid fifty-one percent. But it's you know sometimes it's just you gotta you know you gotta push it to the limit. And, uh, you know, you don't always win those games, as you know, because you're that type of player that absolutely pushes Zerg to the limit. Yeah, I suppose so. I, I, can, I can sympathize with that. So how much or how often, if at all, do you play team games, Idra? I never actually play team games. I play UMSs once in a while. But yes. that's very awesome. I never ever play team games. Yes, we have another team game version. This is awesome. <laughs> I can't even believe it. I seriously cannot even believe it. So well, since since Idra is a team game newbie, are we gonna have to direct you on what to do? I mean, you know, DJ I, Weed is the master of strategy. <laughs> I, I, I suppose so then. I'll just I'll just do whatever you guys say, I'll be your puppet. <laughs> well, that could be an interesting twist. I don't know if we've ever taken that point of view. Uh, before for uh, for Kings of Ten, usually it's definitely the other way around. But uh, Nagram did it last week, and he had never played a team game before, and then realized that he'd played him in Brood War all the time, which is probably the case for you too, right? A little bit. I got some for a while, but I didn't like it there either. But you didn't like? But I had played some at least. Okay, so yeah, I don't I don't like relying on other people that much. It kind of pisses me off. <laughs> Yes, dude. yes. <laughs> oh, man, that's like the perfect statement to kick Kings of Ten <laughs> right there. Uh, but, of course, before we do, um, Season 4 just ended. Uh, before we, we always start Kings of Ten, we like to you know chat with our guests. And uh, Season 4 of GSL just ended. Um, you, know, you had an awesome run this last season. Uh, we've talked a lot on some of the previous shows about some of the matches. But let me ask you a question about like what's, what's next. What are you doing to, to get ready for the next season? Uh, for those that are, are still unable to understand the concept of Code S and Code A, can you explain to us like where exactly you are in the grand scheme of things? Um, I get some kind of seed. I don't, I don't actually explain it since most of the stuff is in, or I don't actually understand it since most of the stuff is explained in Korean. But I think I get to choose one of the players who's in my Code S group or something. 
since I was one of the top eight from the last season. So I'm definitely in code S, and I think I have some kind of advantage going into the group stage. Like um, actually be able to choose who your opponent will be? I think so. Um, okay. Like I don't know how they choose the order. But that's awesome. That's, that's, that's the impression I got from the email. That's awesome. All right. So you you uh, you obviously are in that top eight, so you get this advantage. So what are you doing to uh, to kind of prepare for that? Well, the actual code S doesn't start for another like three weeks, and I actually kind of hate playing Zerg right now, so I haven't been practicing too much. Just kind of enough to keep myself in shape, and then the rest is trying to avoid playing. It's, it's actually kind of depressing, but it's just I hate playing right now. Are you are you playing any other races uh, in, in preparation, or just because you're kind of like you know down on the Zerg a little bit? I do play Terran and Protoss once in a while. It's more just for fun. It's not anything it's like, i'm not going to switch races or anything I, I just play it for fun right sometimes you just have to take a, a nice little relaxing sort of chill out break too yeah right? something i do have to point out actually is when Cass was on the show that was right before he made his nice little run in all the tournaments yeah that's so, true kings of tin is kind of like the good luck Show. Right, right. <laughs> you're going to be doing shit that you'd never think, and you're going to be like, all of a sudden, like, oh, man, I'm going to try the creative that. creative juices start flowing. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, you know, if you're just like, hey, you guys, you know what? I'm going to make 80 infestors this game. I know that's impossible, <laughs> but, you know, we like to exaggerate here just a little bit. As uh, every once in a while, you'll hear, like, watch out for the 8 billion mutas that are about ready to hit your base or something to, something to that effect. He might only mean seven. But uh, eight billion is is how it comes out. So, um, Greg, obviously, uh, you actually know this guy too that's uh, producing the show, Sir Scoots. We can't uh, forget to say hello to him and thank you for all the great work that he does behind the scenes. Oh my God, thank you, Scoots. Ah, you're awesome. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, we, you're most welcome. That. This is fun to push the buttons. So hopefully we've added a few things tonight that make it even better each week. I think we're going to tweak this thing even more. So thanks, Greg, for coming on. Like Marcus said, it's no obviously. Not the same time for you as it is for us, so we appreciate nope. that. Yeah. No. Nope. The other thing about Kings of Tin before we get started here is that uh, some people have deemed it a uh, good night, a Wednesday. Of course, it's always a great night to just get completely sloshed. Um, so, Scoots, I don't know if you have it ready, but uh, the Kings of Tin uh, plate. Perhaps maybe oh, we could the see Twitter that. Oh, plate. I do. Yeah, let me get ready. You guys. Oh no, I meant I meant the the drinking. Oh yeah, I, I, I reverted to the old City one. Broken. So stand by, um, because I built a new one with a nice fancy uh, look on it, but something happened to it. So stand by. Hmm. All right. All well, right. So while we're while we're standing by, I'll go uh, through it uh, with the edits okay. that I didn't get a chance to make. Um, since I've got it in front of me quicker than you guys do, so obviously a little drinking game here, guys. Um, first off, I added a couple caveats, and they were, um, you know, don't operate any heavy machinery after you've played the game. You should be of legal <laughs> drinking age in the country where you're watching this stream to participate in said beverages. Um, I like how that was number two and not number and two. And uh, <laughs> no shoes, no shirt, party on was the third caveat. Um we got a lot of grief that this was way too much drinking. So we didn't really change any rules, but I've lessened everything to basically a drink with the exception of yeah, a few things. Yeah, everything should be. Okay. So if you mess up, if one of these guys messes up their build order and they call it, they say, oh, shit, I messed that up. Everyone takes a drink. If any of them miscue a rally point, either we catch it or they catch it. Uh, Wheat's known to do that. Uh, it's just, <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's just why, a why drink, I call out for that? a drink, no more five gulps. Basically the five gulps turn to a drink. Trust fund has also been updated to 1000 minerals. Um, not 600 just to make oh, it a little, shit. yeah. Um, I, I think that's fair. Yeah. Um, I made an objection about that last week. Yeah. I've changed it. I haven't changed it. Thanks. Uh, what and was it before? Uh, we're going to keep the, whenever DJ wheat says, God damn it. That's just a drink. Um, whenever we dies, we've also clarified to mean all building death, meaning he's been wiped off the map. You then, okay. you do finish your yes. drink wherever it happens to be. But, but can I make a specification on that? Absolutely. I have to say, if he's got like, if he's got like a build, a building someplace like hiding, trying to be clever, 
That's still he's still dead. What? Just, no yeah. way, dude. Yes. Well, no maybe way. maybe that's a separate Total drink. Annihilation. Maybe it, you drink less if he just GGs, and you drink more if he's dude, a building annihilation. Black, I play I Zerg. Know. It's not like I can just <laughs> plop down a spine crawler, you know, in the middle of a tectonic rift. Spine crawler will save your life. Uh, and then, um, if DJ Wheat ever gets supply blocked, uh, it's not a shot anymore because really. There's not enough booze tonight in my cabinet. <laughs> uh, it's just a drink. Uh, and uh, whenever Wax Steven makes DTs, it's when he starts the process of making his first DT. The first one comes out, he will announce it, and we drink. It's not every one that comes out because, again, probably not enough liquor at the end game of this. There's not. There's and, not. And that's just a drink. And I'll try to edit these when we're live. Again, my, my plate died on me. And then last but not least, if any... It, when the, if the king, so this is a Greg specific drinking part. If a king of ten, which he is, loses for him, it's going to be a hatch. Um, it's five gulps. We'll keep it like that. So there you go. Don't lose any hatcheries. Um, There's some suggestions that every time I sing, kings of ten, kings of ten, that we do a gulp. That's not a bad idea. And again, uh, what types of drink is it's 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 you call it at home, basically, folks. Whatever you want to drink. I'm uh, drinking just, Blue Moon right now. We're going to drink some Sam Adams Winter guys. Ale here tonight, I think, Nick and I. Just understand that drinking, like, probably the lowest alcohol beer that you can possibly find with this drinking game will still get you sloshed the way that we play. Just yeah, so just add a cup of water to whatever you're <laughs> drinking, and you'll be totally good. You'll be totally good. Uh, so now the the drinking game is like oh now Idris like oh shit I know what I'm in for so <laughs> so you know I'll, I'll tell you this much Greg Wait, is you, you guys are participating in the drinking game too? well no but I I like to participate in the supply blocking part because I feel like it's just uh, a training method for me to like well, really get it down makes it easier for us as entertainers if they're all drunk so yeah Why that's not? that's true very 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 true so. Yeah makes it easier for the audience if i'm drunk we should <laughs> we should talk about the fact that you know wax steven and i were 2v2 partners for a long time and uh whoa and uh we of course lost a lot because we didn't quite even understand how the team games worked and i can tell you that there will be guys that will launch all out banshee attacks like that's all they will do and so we just have to be really aggressive in team games or we have to decide like way right when we start that okay we're gonna be you know we're gonna be ultra defensive or whatever but uh it, it can just be an assortment of things but typically in a team games we got to always expect a rush which is like one of your favorites right yeah of course okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right so with that being said i think it's probably start that we select our first players uh for kings of ten and uh, what do you what do you say, Wack? How are we gonna do? Uh, how are we gonna do game number one, which is also kind of our warm up game? I haven't played yet, so again, pretty much um, Star Jewel, you know. Well, first things first, we do we do need to just make another announcement because we don't have as many people in this channel as we should. It should be like way more. You're right, way more. Um, Kings of Tin on North American Battle.net, no spaces. Join up, and there is a chance that you can play versus Idra tonight. Get raffle stomped. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's let's just choose three people and go. Okay. I'm down. Um I'm gonna go I, I'm gonna suggest some people to game too. Okay. We'll see. I think I suggested them to game. Oh, yeah, this is uh this is actually my pet nickname for weed. <laughs> um and then uh, let's go ahead and do. Oh, there now we got more people coming. In. Okay, I like it. I like it. Uh, we're just gonna add him, and we're going down the line. Uh, let's go ahead and add right here. All right, so ran it up. No. Oh, we got. Oh, we got shit. I should have known that I would have done that. That I would have picked. A mirror match, which we had a ridiculous amount of <laughs> the last time that no we problem, played this. No problem, dude. You could just go 